hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to try and create some heatless kind of heatless curls so we i've got my we've got a new headband that i've made recently i haven't released it yet but um basically it's just say uh it's velvet it's stretchy and it's like comes out and becomes like a bow and uh yeah i've been trying different like techniques and methods you know to do the heatless curls and i'm not very happy every time i don't um you know the the best that i liked i don't remember which one i like i like the lady that has the um, you know with the sock that you do two parts and give me a very voluminous you know um I like, like blow out in the morning but the but then the hair just the hair started at last so yeah we're gonna try and create uh heatless curls and i want to show you some of the products i'm currently using i never used to use hair products but you know that my hair is so thin they get tangled so so easily and i'm fed up so um i'm using this it's it's for babies basically it's the johnson's uh kids conditioner spray so i'm using this on my hair to spray a little on both sides and then another product these products are using for my daughter who has proper like afro hair then i use this as well Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner I'm trying to avoid the roots I just go on the hair mainly and then uh, I don't always use that is the Aussie, Aussie again uh, miracle oil I like this because um, it really softens the hair and, but it doesn't leave them feeling greasy and all that now I'm going with my brush that's, that's a new brush I got I love it, it smells like coconut and um, I thought that I wouldn't find another hair I usually use I usually use the black with the red hair brush I um, don't remember the name but I'm happy with this, you know, you can see it brushes well, it's not too bad. And I have created this headband for this reason, and it's velvet, which will keep the hair in place. As opposed to satin, most of them are satin, and you know, they can you know you i mean you wrap them around it and then they keep falling off especially when you sleep so yeah this one is quite thick as well so you can kind of fold it like that and bring it around here and then you just start to wrap around if you have long hair it's a bit difficult to do that but you can still do it it's quite a simple thing and the one thing about me i'm terrible with hair like i just can't do it hair like i i just i'm always looking for the quickest way the easiest way like you know you see all these girls doing all these hairstyles and it looks so easy and when I attempt to do it it's just a disaster to be honest um, yeah so let's try this way my daughter here she just the more they grow the more challenging it is so I wrap around I wrap around so I split the hair in half and half in two parts basically and then um, 
so it's easier to manage and see I've started going round and round my friend actually gave me this idea she purchased one of my headbands and um, it's like just you know the, the headband and um, she told me it was a bit difficult to wrap it around because it's, it's like a circle right and it, it closes but this one because um, you can open it and all that you can make it be looser and yeah it wraps around quite easily so I'm running out of hair so I just wrap it around wrap it around so I've done the first one as you can see and I'll start with the second part the hair and I think the best is to um, take smaller and smaller parts and I like this method because it's quite easy like it's easy it's not like the other one um, I was getting so frustrated because um, you know the everyone is using that satin you go around it's like a braid but then at the end you put the scrunchie to secure it and then it unfolds and I'm like what am I doing wrong like and I've been trying this for like so long like it took me so long to um, to figure out how to do it and then did I do it at the end I don't remember okay I'm running out of space here so I'm just gonna wrap this around I think uh, I'm meeting <coughs> To wrap this around here, okay. And now, just gonna tie this up very, very tight so I can keep the everything in place okay I don't even look at the mirror to see how it looks I just look okay it looks quite like nice and secure and um, it's daytime because I can't be bothered to do that in the night because I always wake up with my head hurts it looks good let me look at the back yes that's it you can if it's night you can go, go to bed like that i think it's quite comfortable it's more comfortable than the other one you know okay another product i've created is this bonnet it's silk most it's silk and rayon um very nice very soft so this one you can put it after you create this you know headband and I'm just gonna use it um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair with that you know I think it will help the heat goes everywhere so let me try that and let's see okay I just blow dry my hair just for a bit because I just want to see you see the silk it keeps everything um, nothing freezes so it helps the hair not to freeze so if you you know you can do that you can put it on blow dry the hair uh, like that but um, i'm not done yet i'm just gonna go about my day you know do the things i have to do maybe i will tie it up this note a little i know how to tie it up the note but i just can't be bothered right now but yeah um i can just fix the note if i want to go out and stuff like that and and yeah and then i will show you the result okay guys i'm back i've run some errands so it's been about let's say about four hours and uh i've blow dried my hair a little bit now as well i just tried to you know um, blow the heat inside there 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 that's what actually to be dry um so yeah let's see now uh i've been having a little bit of a headache i think i put some of the strings of my hair here so it was it's a bit 
you know uncomfortable but yeah let's see let's see how this turns out um i just start i guess we need to start from the middle because that's where is um that's where we finished wrapping around you can just go like that they're still wet but i think hopefully they they've got a nice um shape If I left it be more, I think the curls would be more defined. So the hair is still a bit wet. I mean, it could be better because um, my hair naturally they're kind of wavy, curly, and all that. So yeah, I don't see much, much difference. But I think it's because I didn't allow it to dry. Hi there, it's me from the future. Yes, I dyed my hair and um, yeah, so I've done these heatless curls too many times now and I figure out that uh, the first time I did it, I didn't leave it on for long. That's why they didn't take, you know, they didn't, um, they didn't have like nice you know wavy curls or whatever so this is me leaving it on overnight and that's my hair as you can see that's the hair when you leave it overnight nice beautiful curls from the back I like this curls because it's new it's not too too like curly you know um they are nice hollywood like curls if you brush it it will it will be even more like hollywood like but i don't want them to um fall down too quickly so i'm just gonna leave it like that maybe put some um spray on it to help help them stay like that for a bit longer and and yeah that's the result and yeah back to the video so yeah that was the video for today that was my kind of hitless curls with the headbands that um, I'm selling I just want to show you um, to go there label here so take this under there and this one from top and then you put it in that little loop hole here and yeah you've got a perfect kind of bow here yeah, I don't really do my hair like that but I'm just giving you a an idea of how this uh, headband is but yeah i will keep practicing so i can get the method right and um yeah i will keep you updated thanks for watching all night long yeah we dance with our razor tongues and all day long